Hey everybody, so Galactus is almost here, he's almost at the Fortnite Island, it's been a long time coming, it's been a few months now, I can't wait for it. This event is supposed to be the biggest event Fortnite has ever done, and it is supposed to change the future of Fortnite. So just for fun today, I have my official prediction for what's going to go down on the event in the aftermath, and after what's going to happen in Season 5 and stuff like that, just for fun, let's speculate. So take a listen to what I have to say, and after you're done, I would love to hear any predictions you have for the event and Season 5's theme, or what's going to happen after the event, storyline theories, anything like that. So take a listen, I would love to hear what you think after, so comment down below, let's get into it. Okay, so Galactus, he's going to get here. That's a given. He's kind of already here. I think he's going to, like, come closer to the island and get ready to attack it. And then Thor's going to come around because, like, that comic that we saw earlier, they were having some dialogue. So I think we'll have some dialogue again. And Thor will come in and be like, Galactus, don't do this. You don't know what you're doing. And it's something like that. And it's going to be pretty intense. It's going to be pretty cool. But ultimately, he's going to fail. And then they're going to have this crazy battle. And that's just going to be the start of the event because I think this event's going to be a little bit longer. Not necessarily a crazy long event. But anyways, they're going to battle it out. It's going to be awesome. Thor's going to come in. All the th heroes are going to get their, like, shine in the spotlight here and what would be even cooler is if like Tony decides to rift in Doctor Strange from somewhere because we've had endgame stuff in the Fortnite Island before this isn't all comics we have like the Stark Industries place the whole like lake house from endgame and stuff like that so they can take from movies it's always possible how cool would that be though to have Doctor Strange like start rifting people and not rifting uh using that magic thing to get people in just like the final battle in endgame that would be so sick to have all these heroes come in that would be crazy I mean I don't think it'll happen but I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility because, again, we don't. it's not just a pure comic collaboration here. It's movies, everything. Anything can happen in this realm. But I don't think Doctor Strange is going to show up. I think what this is going to happen is they're just going to have this crazy battle with mostly the heroes that are already here. With maybe Thor and Iron Man having a little bit more of a part. And I'm expecting this battle to be, like, quite the thing to watch because don't forget that this event is supposed to be the biggest ever and it's proven in the file so far what is it like 10 or 20 times bigger than the end in the travis scott event that we thought the travis scott event was like something that's never even been done before that was bigger than the black hole like i can't i couldn't believe it honestly so none of this is out of the realm of possibility i think we're gonna get some awesome fights to see so anyways after the cool battle i think galactus will be able to defeat them all and there's gonna be like this really sad thing going on where it's like we can't stop him he's too powerful and I think this is where the battle buses will come in, because Galactus will get to the Nexus, he'll get it wherever it is on the map, it, it's probably in the middle, I'm not too sure. I would imagine it's somewhere where Midas' device was, but again, that's not that important. Maybe on top of Stark Industries, again, not important. <laughs> so I think that Galactus is going to get a hold of the Nexus and start like getting ready to consume and stuff, and then he'll start growing bigger, bigger than we can even imagine, like bigger than the planet and stuff. And again, this is where I think the battle buses are going to come into play, because if you take a look at that teaser we had, it looks like Galactus has the Nexus and the buses are fleeing the scene. So I think that Tony built those to go out into space, and I think we're going to have to get in those buses and go out into space, like leave the planet, get out of here, Galactus is consuming it. Some people think that the buses are built to like fight against Galactus, I don't think that's the case, I think the buses are built to leave the Fortnite island and actually go out into space, and I think that's going to be like really cool because if you go back and take a look at the Travis Scott event, we, I don't know if we, yeah, we actually went out into space. I didn't know if it was like an imagination type thing or if we actually went out to space, but we flew over the chapter one map. It's tough to tell there, but I think the scenery is going to be a lot like that, but way more well done. We're going to start going out into space and we're going to see our planet, the Fortnite planet, the Fortnite island, and Galactus is going to start grabbing it and consuming it and suck out all the energy because remember, Galactus doesn't really usually eat the planets in most like comic type things. He kind of sucks all the energy out of it and leaves the planet in the, as a shell of what it once was. So I think we're going to have to watch that. It's going to be really sad. Possibly another like fight in space. Maybe Silver Surfer and Thor will go out in space and take, a, take him on like that. Again, still won't be able to do anything. It's really, it's going to be really cool, I think. That's, that's what I'm pretty sure about. I think the buses are going to be flying out into space. And ultimately, I think Galactus will consume the Nexus. I just don't know whether it will go wrong for him or not. Because this, the Fortnite Island is even more powerful enough to make gods lose their memory in Thor. So I don't know if, like, Galactus, like, something, if he tries to consume the Nexus, something will go wrong. Maybe he'll rift away. Maybe he'll go back in time. Who knows? That one, I am not sure about at all. There's a lot of possibilities. Or maybe he'll just, like, consume it and take off. Who knows? And after he's done consuming the Nexus, I think that's when downtime's gonna hit. Maybe you could get a black hole, just maybe. And that will lead to Season 5's theme, which has like a dark and depressed feeling to it. The trailer will have us like still in space and be like, oh my god, I can't believe we've lost, stuff like that. And maybe because you're not on the Fortnite island anymore, nobody's losing their memories. It'd be really cool like that. So you're gonna have to go back into the island. That's what I think the trailer is gonna be going back to the island because I'm. You know what? If I had to put money on something, I think we're gonna go out in space and watch Galactus do this to us. When we get back to the map, it's gonna be so dark and lifeless, and that's possibly where the Battle Pass skins could come in. 
I didn't look at those teasers. I've been trying to avoid them. All I saw was the, you know, I won't exactly say it, um, the special one. <laughs> That's the thing, thing I saw. But, so I think all, like, the Battle Pass skins are going to be, like, trying to rebuild or, like, living in this, like, crumbled world. It's going to be all dark and depressing. I think it's going to make for a pretty cool storyline, not going to lie. And I think the story will be kind of like Endgame again, where Tony will have to figure out a way to possibly go back in time, especially, I'm sure he could figure out a way to do it even without the Nexus, or maybe the orb will still be there, but it just won't be what it was. I don't, it, it, like, if that makes sense, it'll be exposed, but it'll just be, like, broken because Galactus got a hold of it. So I think that they're going to have to, like, over the time in the season, they're going to have to go back in time, possibly, like people have been predicting like rifting old POIs here and trying to get a hold of time travel and stuff like that. I actually made a teaser of like they were looking for Thanos because Thanos is capable of beating Galactus and you know what that's not out of the realm of possibility. Thanos is still technically out there in the Fortnite universe so could you imagine if I predicted that? That'd be wild. Go check out that video, by the way. Anyways, that's how I think the season's gonna go, and I think that another thing is that Thor is going to warn that the Black Winter is coming, because that would tie really well into Winterfest. I know some people, I don't know why, but some people have been talking about, like, no way Black Winter is coming, no way, but it's part of the comics, and uh, it was following Galactus, it wanted to, like, destroy all reality, so I think that that could come over the planet and give us, like, a dark winter. That would be a really, really unique and cool spin on things. You still have the Fortnite Christmas spirit and stuff like that, but again, it's all dark and depressing. I think that'd be really cool. So the trailer would also start off with Thor warning everybody and be like, hey, you know what? I'm the god of thunder. <laughs> Just warning about the Black Winter. You know what I mean? Tony will work the whole season. It'd be really interesting if nobody lost their memories, but how would the loop still go? One thing that I'm not sure of is that the uh, voice actor for John Jones, like Agent Jonesy, or yeah, Agent Jonesy, he said like he has some more dialogue in the file so i don't know if that's going to come up in the event or if that's planned for way down the line in the future i have no idea how he can come about because i don't know if we're in a simulation i don't know anything about that so i'm gonna think for my prediction to play it safe i'm gonna say he will be absent from this whole thing or maybe we can like get some flashbacks or something like that but it, it's hard to say it's really really tough to say i I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think. So comment down below. Let me know what you think. Will John Jones show up in this event? So guys, that's my theory. I want to know what you think. Do you have any event predictions? Do you have predictions for season five's theme? What do you think is going to happen at Winterfest? Like, do you like anything I said? I think this event is going to be spectacular. Fortnite has never hyped up an event like this, and I absolutely cannot wait for it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider hitting the like button. It would help out the channel a ton. And subscribe if you would like to see more Fortnite and Smash Bros content. Thank you again, everybody. Don't forget to comment. Let's talk about some storyline theory. Spec is like one of the best parts about it I hope I get into this event because like in the past this event hasn't been working out for some people I really hope that I get into this event this is I've never been more pumped for an event ever honestly so let's hope guys and I hope for you too I hope you can watch the event something happens it's gonna be sick it's gonna be awesome season five can't wait to go in the downtime I'm gonna be uploading then so I'll see you guys later thank you again for watching don't forget to comment I'll see you in the next video take care